the others set to continue. I love this story of CIS just t t turning on itself, essentially. And already, a bit of a monster play in from Gambit. That opening kill is going to go a long way in setting them up well to win this round. The Pistols not keen to rush in just yet. Now, make their presence known out through Monster, and they have dealt with Electronics. Suddenly, B looking like it's ripe for the taking for Gambit. Yeah, Na'Vi stacking, not stacking it outside of spawn, right? And look at Nafani, he's holding on a rotate. Simple as run. And even though he begins to walk, his footsteps will be heard. He's being baited in into the fight. He's not going to check his corner, but Nafani doesn't take the shot, stalling it out until the last possible second. Four on two, almost insurmountable odds for Na'Vi to get back into this round. Boomich is being pressured, and they'll hunt him down. It's only perfect, though. One on three, and he already wants to save his armor. Probably the right call, given the situation. The Gambit, off to a strong start. It is, it is their map pick in the series, right? As Yanko put on the desk, both these teams banning their opponent's best map, which is also their perma. So this is going to be super exciting. This is going to be super interesting to see, you know, not only uh, can Gambit take their map pick, but Na'Vi, they've had their fair share of troubles on train as of late. It's a map that we know they fare well on, and it's one that Na'Vi struggle on a hell of a lot, right? And it's a bit of a weird one because it used to be a good map for the, uh, the Na'Vi of old. Oh. Simple, getting stuck in with that scout. Opens up this force fight to Gambit. Very much focusing on their own game, I imagine, in this opening map. But that's what's got them here, and it's what's going to get them into this B site. So you hope. Perfecto holding with one. Inter is trying to trade, but Na'Vi aren't giving away the picks. Finally, Hobbit finds something, but Boomich down the connector with a lot of damage that might get finished off by the HE. It goes far, and Boomich backs up, knowing Gambit aren't committing into that B site, which is stacked. And right now, Gambit, I mean, this is... Uh, a very, very sticky situation to be in. No health, no control, 20 seconds, the save is the right call. Uh, and it's just like right away, as soon as you step out of spawn, things are off the rails for you. Uh -oh. Boomich is even hunting down <laughs> these saving players. And if he even gets away with one, it's going to be devastating. But he doesn't look in the right corner, Hobbit. Doesn't want to be caught out in the open and get walked up on the toilets. That's in fact exactly what's happening. And Na'Vi don't know it until it's already too late. Oh, regardless, Simple is just nailing these scout shots. Oh, Boomich, no. oh, the flash kind of helps him. They don't check oh. for it. Oh, Boomich, a third of the round. And there it is, the lock-in, the flash, man. It, it left Boomich blind, but instead of, like, spamming out of panic, he just, he just waits. Or he can just sit back and wait. There's the footsteps getting heard on A, and Simple, of course, hits the perfect timing. No one watching for him. This should be a freebie. Hobbit's out of the picture, and Boomich flashed again, although when has that, has that ever put a stop to him, especially with Electronic side by side, and Boomich cleans up three once again. Good looking for Boomich to stop yeah, this map. Yeah, yeah. So let's see if that comes back to punish Gambit at all. Ooh. It should be all right. The Whoa. run boost to get Shiro over <laughs> and Simple plucks him out of thin air. And advantage taken, and Na'Vi... Sat five on four again with the kill going untraded. Sniping him down and three on this A site. Navi have no fear. We're, we're playing lax on B. They're even drawing a, th a fourth rotation in in the form of Flamey. What a ballsy call. They don't even have any information. They're just guessing and they've guessed correctly. Boomage aggressing at long. Will he receive a flash? No need. He catches Inters uh, swapping between nades. Bomb at his feet. And this is just all too easy for Navi right now. Axile giving it a go, but it's too little, too late. Stay very mobile, stay very active, show the AWP on one side of the map, and then rotate out. That's exactly what he's doing. Boomish with a backstab, but Shiro comes in behind on long, and Boomish is looking the wrong way. It's about time he was put down. Simple. Oh, very close. <laughs> oh, oh no. There we go. Nafani in with that opener. And now that you know that you've dealt with Simple, this A site just got that much more tempting. Flamey is found in rotation, and they know that Electronic is here. Trying to make his last stand behind the truck. Electronic, they're all over him. And Hobbit's going to get the kill. Bomb now down. And Perfecto coming in on this late lurk. But this is someone else who's been good in clutches, right? Perfecto versus Shiro. Going to go head to head. Inters as well. Holding over here towards the long side. Doesn't want to give this kill away. As Perfecto is now picking up a bit of steam in towards long. Sneaking up with the org out. Bomb timer ticking against oh, no. it. Perfecto, he's seen the barrel, he's seen the peak, and now he's in with the swing. Shiro left in another one of these clutches, and he's so damn reliable in them. A nice try from Perfecto to get that from a 1v3. Only Inter's up at the A bomb site, selling that fake.
And so Perfecto and Simple have got to do a hell of a lot with very little. It's Simple plucking Hobbit out of the air. That's going to go a long way. Even though Inters opens up on a Boomich, this is where Na'Vi starts to rotate. There's 10 seconds and it's only Perfecto and Simple oh. still down at B, but they're getting all the kills. It might not even matter for Shiro. He's got to back out and save. He can't get past the two players in the site and Inters even risks going down after time. Na'Vi, they will show mercy and didn't drop a single series, even beating Gambit again in the tournament. So they've had their trouble against CIS teams, but Na'Vi are back with a vengeance and Gambit are back to B. Oh, but this time Flamey is holding on to Monster and he doesn't let them get out. It's all grinded to a bit of an uncomfortable halt here for Gambit. They were hoping that this B site was the answer to their problems and Flamey has instead presented a hell of a lot more. Inters and Shiro still left standing at the very end of things, but Electronic to get past Simple rotating in as well, leaving Boomich up at A. Ooh. Missed shot for Simple. Now that gives you an opportunity in this round. A minute still left on the clock. Flamey holding deep on the right-hand side. And he is still hearing these footsteps, still hearing that Gambit are lurking around outside of B. Inters needs to do a lot, though, to get away with an opening, and he's not going to. Flamey just pops his head off like it's nothing. And so now Shiro up through the short side, one versus three, to try and find. And even though he's been great in clutches, this one might be a little too far gone. Peeks out with the orb. First man down. Electronic going to offer himself up as well. And now just Flamey. They know where he is. Shiro. No. Oh, caught with the knife in hand, but still alive. Still a threat. And looking to add another clutch sure to the tally. Does. It's up towards the A-bomb site. So little time. But he will have enough to get that bomb down, perhaps, as he rotates on in. It's going to be close. He's there with a second left on the clock. Bomb now planted. And Flamey throwing into the 1v1 versus the clutch king of Gambit. What a cool man. You could see the, the team call it like, oh, that's not the monster player that killed me. There's one more. And he, he doubles back. He even considers just staying for the fight. But after getting tagged, Shiro has escaped. And he could be anywhere. Flamey knows it. Speed is his prerogative as he moves in quickly through the toilets. All the noise for Shiro in the world. And he posts up for the clutch. Gambit onto four. And that is not something you can rely on. But that is the star power of Shiro. So this time, this all posted up in middle. Maybe that's something that could catch Gambit off guard one simple oh, oh it's oh. only the tag once he's got the attention that gives boomage down here in connector a lot more room because now gambit are invested in this a bomb site but timing is everything for boomage and that second player late out through mid is good for the trade this might be another save honestly a three on four the bombs already going down inside of a and so this is a rough round to grind your way back into if you're navi the nade finds good damage onto Hobbit, but that's not really something you're looking at as like a, a big win for Na'Vi. Without a kill presenting itself, they will start to seep their way through. They've dealt with Hobbit on the entry, and now they're interested. But half the time ticked off for this bomb, Na'Vi have got to go fast, and they've got to get past Inters in the site. There he is dropped. Shiro removed as well now, and Axile thrown oh. in to a 1v2 clutch that he doesn't want to be in. He didn't sign up for this. Tapping that smoke. He can't get them off the bomb. They're sticking it. The shots are missing, and there's the defuse for Na'Vi. They stick it out. He will survive with the AWP at least. Gambit, how on earth are they meant to recover this? When this smoke fades, if they hit the timing to deal with Simple on this long play, oh. that's going to be worth its weight in gold because now a three-on-three three given over. You've gotten rid of the heavy hitter and they're now moving into this site. Wind in their sails. The late flank up through. Oh. Con could decide a hell of a lot. Flamey denies that bomb plant and with only 15 seconds left, that could be the round shaping up for Na'Vi. It's down to the clutch again for Shiro. Very little time to work with and a bomb plant over at the truck at least keeps him safe from Flaby. past the flower bed shiro still just patient as ever i'm planted for him as well a really rough spot for flamey smoke is wide as well that's a little bit devastating he can't even just stick the defuse oh. he will win it out on the cross so the clutch is denied oh doesn't have a kit he's got it he's got it that's really really good like you know Play for play. Oh, wait. Ooh. No, not even close. Oh, dear. And that is again going to be the case. Flamey can drop this smoke. Navi do love it. Perfecto's been flashed out. That'll try and buy them some room, but right through the smoke go Gambit until Hobbit gets flashed out. And Axel goes above to try and hunt these players in the pit. He's got them. Is he ready for Perfecto? There's cover as the bomb plant does not get denied. It's only simple in the clutch. 
Yeah, and with how deep Gambit R would be, this might be a bit of a rough one for Simple. He's trying to get round them. Hobbit, Axal, and the AWP all posted up on Simple. And so there's Shiro to lock in the 8 7 half for Gambit. Actually, has a longer range on it than the USP with one taps. And so now. This B play moving in, Shiro well light up with the first, but immediately traded by that simple P250. And Inters is caught out as well. Simple in with the third. Nafani dropped from the round, leaves it all on Hobbit. Now is Hobbit able to pull his Shiro out of this one? I don't know. I don't think so. Not with so many players in position. He does deal with Simple, but up in heaven with the crossfire set up. Between him and Electronic, this should be the done deal. Hobbit has seen the man in heaven. Ooh. Time is starting to become the problem. Taps out electronic. The bomb planted out in the open, and Hobbit's just sticking it. Surely don't get away with the full 10 second stick. Perfecto. It's not clean. You know, no one's like, yeah, that was a sick kill. But he does get it locked in, and that's the most important yeah. thing. You can go with an A fake, you can fake B and quick rotate up to A. Suddenly your options are open and Simple is trying to open them even more. The flash nice. is real good. That little bait, bait and switch between Axile and Shiro. That's the kind of stuff that snatches away an opening kill, and Axile's even getting more aggressive on the back of it. Spots Electronic in the toilets. As mentioned, he was tagged up earlier on, and so that M4, all it takes is one to the dome. They're holding for the long push from Boomich, and in the blink of an eye, it is all left on to Perfecto. This is a great first rifle round from Gambit, right? Axile doubling up in the toilets, and now just left to this one man with the Krieg. And only seven seconds. Perfecto is looking to save. At least if he gets away with this, he can drop an AWP into play, right? Simple can then drop a gun to uh, to Boomich, rather. Flamey can drop Electronic, and we're, and we're all good if you're an RV for a buy. Players are moving down in rotation. And at this point in time, Gamba actually outnumber Navi inside the B bomb site. These other Navi players still a little ways away from getting involved. And so as the kills are coming in, things are going from bad to worse. Navi, they get the B control. They don't have the numbers here to get that bomb down. So now they're having to rush down these defending players. They're having to pressure them. Simple will deliver that kill and be the oh, man to get dear. the bomb planted, but denied by Nafani. And now time is running out. The bomb's got to get planted, but they've gone for the kills instead. That is a disaster. There's no time for the bomb plant. And so Gambit get a 10th. Does that count as a Shiro clutch Absolutely. if he runs away? I think Absolutely. it does, right? Bomb for Electronic there as well, but he's already peeling back, going up the stairwell as Flamey gets out Monster again. He's been very good at going one for one here. That is fine. Shiro's here on the B site as well, so A is undefended, but spotted his Boomich and Simple tries to escape, but he is denied by Hobbit's position. Flamey can't do a thing, and there's 10 seconds again. Is the bomb really going to elude Na'Vi? Yes, it is. Nafani with the kills, and again, Gambit win with a clock on their side. Massive hole for Nafani, sure will be his demise, and Electronic has not moved his eyes from this position either. Oh, they've crept out. He's going to look back in, though. The orb's there, and that's a big trade for Gambit to get back into a 4-on-4. Four four. Boomich is out on long, and he hears Axel trying to retreat, who was tagged earlier on. Boomich can get that kill, and look at him speeding towards A. Will he call for his fake, or will he call for his team to join him on the site? It doesn't matter, because Boomich might just have all the kills. Shiro finally trades, sending his team down lower. The orb is on A. Navi are trying to avoid him, but Inters gets aggressive to do some damage. They're already out monster. Surely he can't escape, but they let him go. They let him drop into the pit, and now the can post up for kills. Uh, with Shiro still alive, you know, Inters, he really needs to get one kill and set Shiro up for another clutch. As the swing and simple is quick to not let Shiro get away. Oh boy. Oh, Gambit are getting aggressive? I don't know. This this could be the decision that throws oh. it away. Flamey, they're right there. They're on the other side of the smoke, but somehow they've dealt with both players outside of Monster. That looked dead to rights going in favor of Na'Vi. Boomich has even picked up through the wall at long. My, oh my, that is, that is one hell of a way to find the lead for Gambit. You know, keeping five alive as well, even looking to hunt down some of these remaining players. Now, they're not going to get found. They're not going to get discovered regardless. But a big risk. Oh, that pole, there's the flash. And Boomish now giving away his position. Axel gets the kill, and Na'Vi is speeding up into the stack. Yeah, this time trying to be explosive, trying to get a bit more oh. aggressive with it. And Electronic on the opener has at least given them a chance in a round like this. Nafani calling for these rotations, trying to get people into the right place. But with him alone facing at the truck, 
There's now a big gap over in this A site. The nade onto the bomb plant. It does great damage. Won't deny the plant. The tags have come through and simple out of the round now. It's a two versus two. Shiro and Inter is still standing at full HP for Gambit. And it's all on the line now for Na'Vi. If they want to keep this game going, if they don't want their money to get broken up against 14, they need this round now more than ever. Flamey delivers the first. And now Inter's left up alone to try and get it over the line. Flamey knows how important this round is, but he's given it all away. The long peak, handing that kill to Inter's and giving him the 1v2, puts Gambit up to 14. Whenever Boomish has been left to try and sell these fakes, a lot of the times he just sits long toilets and then dies eventually. Oh so this my. time they try and move away from the fake tactics. They try to keep things simple and they rush in towards B. It doesn't get much easier than this. In terms of having the strategy orchestrated, they don't manage to deal with Nafani down in the pit and Inters is bailing them out as well. Now it's bought time for Axile's short flank and he gets away with the double. The round is locked in. And in spite of the openers coming through for Na'Vi, the response from Gambit was so damn fast. Gambit may be getting in their heads a little bit. Oh, Nafani will decide against the rotate. And the timing on that on that reconsideration is perfect because he's now here fighting alongside Shiro up at the A bomb site as the push is coming in. 20 seconds, they flush out Shiro and not a trade in sight. That bomb has got to go down. They plant it safe at the truck. Oh. The nade goes in and deals with Flamey, but that's not the bomb planter. So Na'Vi, they get away with that at least. Now they have to find the three on three and simple. He's just giving them a reason to get reinvested in this round. Out with the swing. Perfecto knows now that he has to fight tooth and nail to keep Na'Vi in this one. Electronic at the dice box gets spotted as well. And so the info is there for Gambit. Perfecto dealt with on truck and Electronic wide swang from the bank. It's the defuse in for Gambit. Another round going their way. And with that, this map get snuck in by the Gambit squad. My, oh my, 16 to 12, and it's no contest in that second half of play. Gambit are looking fierce. Or armorless players. Flamey's coming down as well. He's going to try and line up the one flash. Hobbit backing out. Shiro is tucked, and he could win this round off his position alone. Ooh, enters. Getting one alongside Shiro, but lose Shiro in the meantime and that bomb now goes down Inter's trying to get stuck in with his USP but nothing's presenting itself yet and RV just playing tugged playing reserved and making Gambit work for these kills they will swing together and deal with Nafani. That kit has been retrieved quickly by Inters, but time is still ticking away from the Gambit squad. And there's all the peaks to come through. Na'Vi, they get that pistol round. The rifle rounds come through. Gambit are just back to full strength. Yeah, it's good. Uh, good time to see Electronic get, you know, a strong start with a 3K and a pistol, right? Oh, uh, say his name and I've cursed him immediately. Shot by the scout in the face Great right there. Great start, yep. Yeah, uh, he uh, he had a rough one last map. You know, position change we talked about. And maybe that comes back to bite him, but he's going to be very, very lethal on a map like Train, right? Especially on that CT side, just a very aggressive player up in your face towards T main, towards E box. But right now, this force buy might be stealing the wind of Na'Vi, the scout tags are in, and they're sublime. Shiro climbing the ladder, trying Look to get up the top. HP. Everyone is low, as you say, and Shiro could put them all to rest. Nafani has a Molotov as well. If that goes into the bomb site, that could burn these players up oh. and into the open. The Molly, oh, it's so damn good. Gambit, they steal that round right back, and this game's heating up already. Hugo flashes out. That's thrown from main and Inters just concedes this for the time being. Gives them a little bit of room, but not too much room. They do get oh. close and there's Inters with the double. No one checking close right and even swinging the deal with simple. Inters having a great round up against this force bite. And it's looking like a done deal for Gambit that they've got this conversion and that a third round should be soon to follow. Putting them off to a very good lead, 3-1 up. It's not even the prettiest buy for Gambit. Two SMGs still in play, but they're making it work. Inters is letting them out, baiting them in to the position that he just played. Electronic does check it this time around, but the barrel gives him away. And Inters needs another or needs to stay alive. He'll go for the latter. Perfecto has to hunt him down, but he's being caught between two opponents. There's still a player remain to worry about, but Perfecto finding a couple. 20 seconds, Na'Vi do not want to let the time be their undoing once again. They're still holding. They're still waiting. <laughs> and this is giving B 
bit of a rough situation over. Flamey has to look back into the site, and then Hobbit hits the perfect timing. Perfecto is the hero in this round, and he is almost on for the ace, but Nafany will deny it. Simple Whoa. missed shot. Nafany given a chance, and Simple is very, very quick to get a handle back on that before it gets out of hand. Two and three. Hobbit waiting with plenty of utility still. And it's going to be a fast approach. Electronic flashing out and not waiting. Shiro's already come in on a rotate, but they're going to be able to get past that money if they want. They're desperate for the bomb plant. They're pushing up close. And Shiro <laughs> just picking them up through smokes. Four on three. Gambit are poised for the retake. Na'Vi haven't even got the bomb to the site. Man, Shiro is just so exciting to watch. The fact that you can be in a server with Simple and you still have the majority of people like looking at you and what you're able to put forward, that is a really nice sign for Shiro. He's done well to impress us early on. And now it is just Simple left alive. Inter has deleted Shiro. Moving in, him and Axile trying to retake this one together and Simple playing on the ladder, still alive. Drops the molly onto the bomb. That will deny the defuse. Simple Ooh. versus Shiro, and while the no-scope lands, Shiro wins the peak, and Na'Vi, the round, still so damn close, but picking up the kit, I think he's just got time. Oh, my, oh my, Shiro at 5 HP. Oh my, stuck in the smoke. Spamming as well. Now that gives it away. They actually had no idea how deep he was, but now all the info is in the way of Gambit. They're going to try and hound him down, but they look away. And that is the kill for Perfecto to grab himself a gun as well. Stuck in the sight is Shiro. He's committed. Oh dear, Nafani's going to get aggressive, and he might have hit the timing with players moving up sandwich. He wants to take a bit of a bite out of their lunch. Not jumping the gun, waiting for that cross, and he will drop the bomb with it. Shiro missed shot, needs something special here to stay alive. Nafani is providing everything in the site. Simple will trade, but it's down pop for Hobbit on the B flank. Perfecto tries to hold him down, but he misses his bullets. He misses his opportunity, and now it's time for a reset for Perfecto. He gets out again. They don't know, but Hobbit is quick to keep this round alive for Gambit. Meanwhile, Shiro was running in. Uh... Holding on to upper. Hobbit down in the site as well. As you mentioned, this double hold allowed thanks to the info and main control that Gambit have. Shiro actually starts to peel oh, back, no. but a missed shot from Simple, uncharacteristically so, leads to Shiro out aiming him in the head to head yet again. Now holding on for the upper swing. With someone maybe about to make their debut from this position, Shiro could get rewarded handsomely. Navi have gotten out through the ramp, and this isn't information that Gambit have just yet, but they're preemptively rotating around. They've got all their bodies here in this B bomb site, and even though Shiro is blindsided by Boomich, they never knew about Hobbit, who's in with the first, make it a double, and now just Perfecto left, and this guy's in trouble. No Nafani, does he way. go for the knife? Is he going for it? Nah, he plays it safe, and he locks in a seventh round for Gambit. Yeah, he switches from the, uh, back to the flash, actually. Flashing first, smoking later, and the oh. peak is in. Shiro blind and was expecting that smoke to fall. So now Hobbit pressure's really nice. on, and Perfecto giving the openers over. There's that fast flank again, coming in through the back line. This time it's Nafani to deal with Electronic. But in a three on four, do Gambit just write this round off and go for the save with no kills presenting themselves into the bomb site? Yeah, and even though Gambit knew what was going on there, as they have a seemingly all CT side long right with that flank again, this time from Nafani, it, it's not enough on the B hold. Navi finally get both entries from Perfecto and Gambit get nothing out of it. No kills. It doesn't get them the opening kill onto Shiro and he is able to drop a Molotov. That slows down this push. He even peeks with it and he had a chance there for the opening kill. Perfecto runs through the Molotov and gets brought down very, very low in the process. Shiro is not giving over a fight and Hobbit's just tucked on the bomb train. This is a bit of a disaster. Na'Vi, they were hinging on getting these gunfights and they haven't been given any Simple at least gets out of there with one, but a two on four now for him and Electronic as they fast drop down through pop. Yeah, 15 seconds to go, Na'Vi. They often find some sanctuary in this low time, but right now it might be the backstab for Axel. Oh, he scores the kill, does take down Simple, fake on the plant, and Axel's there to dance around the bomb train. It's Gambit up to nine, and again. Oh. 
man, this utility into main is so punishing. Yeah. For the first time as well, Na'Vi trying to fight here early on. They haven't really uh, dealt with what Gambit have been dishing out in main. Flamey at least trades that pop kill, but Axile pushed up close Ooh. in Olaf. Perfecto does get out past him, and Shiro has got no idea. Axile's now out of the round, and Shiro, oh, he's quick to react. Simple trades it at least. Hobbit's dead on the B push, and in the blink of an eye, it is all left on to just one man. Inter has tucked in at stopper. Simple, scoped on the angle. It's a pretty scary place to find yourself on the other side of this AWP. RV grinding to a temporary halt as they search for this last remaining man. They haven't seen him yet. Simple, scoped up, sees the barrel as that smoke starts to fade. Looking to come in late on this split. Hobbit posted up over here at CT side, Ivy. Molly into the connector. Gambit know that this is still shaping up to be an A play. And there's Shiro with the opener down into a three on three. They spot Boomich and they deal with him quickly. Suddenly this has turned in favor of Gambit once again. While Simple's gotten close, he's blindsided by Nafany up in the heavens. And Flamey with only seven seconds, he needs all three kills or else the round is lost. And that's not going to happen. Gambit just aren't giving them over. Round ends and Flamey at least stays alive with this AK. Oh, because he's waiting to peek off of Shiro's contact. But even if Shiro gets that contact, Simple ain't moving. So let's see how this plays out. Shiro with his shot. Hobbit might just peek. And there it is. He catches Perfecto and Shiro drops the second. The barrel's been spotted. And Hobbit looks to clear it up. And Shiro steals the kill away. Out, be, out orping Simple yet again with a third. And B is not the answer for Na'Vi. It may have taken them 15 rounds to see. But they can barely get into the bomb site. Not a point of damage done. An electronic with what would be one of the best rounds of the decade is not going to fall into fruition. It's 11 versus 4. Huge on those opening kills. Well, Na'Vi not had many in this map. Boomish three frags to his name. And this is not what we needed from Na'Vi, but it might be all they've got. Fast out into the B site. There's a pick for Axel. Simple is tough, but he's given away his position and they're running right by him. Hobbit from above and Gambit picking Na'Vi apart yet again. It's all too familiar territory on the train yard. Five on two and you may as well save. Na'Vi, they may have had tough times before, but this one might just be one step too far. And to think the form that Na'Vi had coming into, you know, this tournament and, in, and what they've shown us across the last few days as well, Stacking their chips, they're hedging their bets all over towards this A bomb site. Simple holding on to Ivy is about oh. to have a lot of players into his crosshair. He's just looked away, and in that timing, Axile's gotten out. Now he gets the info that one man is passed. Simple traded after the first. Boomich, not many kills in his repertoire. This would be the round to get them, but only one. And now just Perfecto oh. does drop the bomb. Run. They need the kill, and Perfecto gets away. He might have locked in the round. In fact, he has. It belongs to Na'Vi as they steal that one away. The four spy does pay dividends over to Na'Vi. Perfecto, great ability to just drop the bomb and get the hell out of there. Knows that that is how he wins the round. Does Axel run? If he does, that's footsteps Boomich will hear. That's info that B is not clear, and Axel's made a bit of noise, so already Na'Vi moving two into the site. So he's a uh, shot from the scout, but Perfecto from a range picks up Nafany on the bomb train. Hobbit chases down Simple, but he can't see the second man in, and Electronic provides cover to Perfecto as now Na'Vi have flooded this B bomb site. Plant is in, but the retake should be happening. Yeah, Shiro with the scout. Damage done, and they're just using it to supplement these deagles. Inters takes a second, but caught by the aggressing MP9s. Oh, it's down to the 1v1, and it's a low HP boom. It's swung by Axile to put 13 on the board for Gambit. They're back, building upon this lead again. That's a cheeky smoke. Inters. Oh, trades Dinks and gets out of there alive. The Molotov, I say alive, not far. He will die, but so will Electronic, who swings into the fire and flames. Oh, and even no! And Boomich will not get out with the gun, nor Boomich. his life. Oh, that is a disaster. That is the worst possible thing that could have happened in a round like this. Blame me.
taking this peek in a main, gets the info that there's one. Second man out is dropped by Flamey. He's having a peel down, but he loses Simple over at Ivy side. They know that they've got Flamey trapped here, and he's desperately calling for Perfecto to come and help him out. But Perfecto's on a solo journey in through those upper halls. Flamey is here alone and having to try and hold on to A as Gambit Whoa. move in. They deal with Perfecto. They put a lot of faith in that flank, finding something. And now it is just Flamey left. Bomb down. Overwhelming Whoa. odds against him. And Shiro there to put 14 on the board for Gambit. He surely shouldn't convert around with USPs. You'd hope not, right? Uh, but it's looking like it could happen. Uh -oh. Electronic. Deegs Hobbit out of the round and now down to three for Gambit. This was not a round that Na'Vi were ever meant to find success in. And so the fact they're in a five on three is already a great spot to be in. But now they finally lose Boomich. It's a very late trade from Shiro. Oh. Spotted back on the bomb train, and now Gambit make their move. Tiptoeing their way up towards a Flamey with the USP. Pete can't quite find anything yet, and Axile deletes him. The bomb plant has to come in, and Simple's not able to deny it. The scout whittled down, and that's it. Gambit up to 15, onto a winner. One away from knocking Na'Vi out of the playoffs, from continuing on to those semifinals. Na'Vi have been, you know, they've won the pistols, and they get forced on or they just lose it straight out and they lose the force by wars eventually. So without that early start, look at the result. Shiro silencing simple. And just like that gambit, they might be onto a winner. Five on four. Removing simple as well. The heavy hitter of Na'Vi cancelled out. And now from beyond the grave, he's got to put faith in his four teammates to keep the dream alive. Gambit picking up the pace and getting stuck into A. Boomich holding this close angle. Made it out, flashed as well. They seem very aware of this possibility. And Whoa. Boomich trades places, will drop the bomb. That's information at least. There's an upper flank coming in. But this A side gets dismantled by Nafani. And suddenly there's one man left. Gambit, all the stands between them. And sending Na'Vi home was perfecto. They walk it over the line. Gambit take it 2-0. and oh. Na'Vi, the defending champions. Their run is cut short in the quarterfinals by Gambit.